Today we're going to apply the operations that we've done so far with polynomials to geometry. We're going to take a look at perimeter and area. Perimeter is the distance around a figure. So the operation we would do for perimeter is add or take the sum of all side lengths. For area, it's the number of square units contained in the figure, and that's going to require some formulas that we need to write down. So let's focus on 1 through 4 um, as it says on the perimeter. Okay, everything needs to be in standard form. So perimeter, we're going to add all four sides. So don't forget, um, even though two sides are labeled, this side and a rectangle opposite sides are congruent. So this side is 9x minus 10, and this is 5x plus 2. So in showing the work, rather than writing those expressions four times, I'm going to say that the perimeter is equal to 2 of the expressions 9x minus 10 and 2 of the 5x plus 2. So I can easily just double them. So double 9x minus 10, we get 18x minus 20. And then double 5x plus 2, we get 10x plus 4. Combining the like terms, the perimeter um, represented algebraically, or in terms of x, 18 plus 10 is 28. And then negative 20 plus 4 is a negative 16. In a square, all four sides are the same. So rather than adding that expression four times, I'm going to say that the perimeter is equal to four of those. So four times three x minus two y, four times three, 12, four times two, negative eight. Okay? So this is in simplest form, but let's also make note that this is in terms of x. Well, and we have a y, or algebraically. Number three, the triangle. So adding um, all three sides. So I will stack them this time. So we have a 4x plus 4, the 17, and then 5x minus 3. Combining 4x and 5x, we have 9x. 4 plus 17 is 21, and 21 minus 3 is 18. So perimeter, it's kind of sloppy. Perimeter equals, okay, and last one. This one I'm just going to combine right in the problem, okay? The issue with that is well, if you do that on a quiz or a test, you have no work shown, okay? So we have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 x's. And then adding the numbers, if you add all positives first, 5 plus 2 is 7, minus 2 is 5, minus 1 is 4. Now we're going to take a look at area. Okay? The area of a square, a rectangle, is length times width. It's just in a square, all four sides are the same. So instead of doing area is length times width, we can say area is side squared because the two sides are the same. So if we square 5x cubed squared, we square the 5, we get 25. And remember, power to power, we multiply. So 3 times 2 is 6. If you struggle with that rule, you can simply just, instead of using the square, write it out the number of times of the exponent. So 5 times 5, 25. x cubed times x cubed is x to the sixth. Area for a rectangle, as we just said, length times width. And I always like to write the monomial first in order. Distributing that through. So 3 times 6 is 18. x times x squared is x cubed. 3 times negative 6 is negative 18 again and x times x, x squared. So multiplying, we add our exponents, but power to power, we multiply the exponents. In our triangle, the formula for area is 1 half base times height. 
So our total base is 4x squared, and our height is 8x. So area is 1 half of 4x squared times 8x. Well, 1 half of 4 is 2, and 2 times 8 is 16, and x squared times x is x cubed. On the back side, number 5, it says if the area of a rectangle is given and the length is given, what is the width? Well, if we know the area is length times width, and we know the length, so we know A and L, and we need W. If we solve for W, back to a literal equation, W is equal to A over L. So if I take the area, okay, so the width equals negative 21A squared B minus 3AB, divide that by negative 3AB, we'll get our answer. So negative 21 divided by negative 3 is a positive 7. A squared divided by A, subtract, we get A. And I forgot to write, this is A squared B. The B's would cancel out, okay? And then minus, divide these two, negative over negative, positive, and 3AB divided by 3AB, everything does cancel or anything divided by itself is 1. 6. The cutting edge frame shop makes a mat by cutting out the inside of a rectangular board. Use the diagram to find the remaining area of the mat after the inside is cut out. Cut out means we're going to subtract. Okay, so the total shaded area, the area of the mat, is equal to the area of the larger rectangle, or the outside one, minus the area of the smaller one, or inside rectangle. Okay, so off to the side over here, I'm going to find the area of the outside and the area of the inside. Okay, the outside rectangle, so using color, this whole length that says is 2x minus 3, and this whole length is x plus 8. So area of a rectangle is still length times width. So I'm going to multiply 2x minus 3 times x plus 8. Before I multiply, I'm just going to note the length and width of the inside rectangle. So inside here, if you line it up, that length is 2x minus 7 times this width of x plus 4. Now to review multiplying two binomials. So using the distributive property, we're going to distribute the 2x all the way through. 2x times 2x is 2x squared. 2x times 8 is 16. Now distributing the negative 3 through. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And negative 3 times a positive 8 is 24. Continuing to distribute in the second one, Okay, and then combining like terms at the end, 2x squared times x, or 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times a positive 4 is positive 8x. Negative 7 times x is negative 7x. Negative 7 times positive 4 is negative 28. Now in each of those expressions, we just need to combine like terms. And as you notice, you have your x squared terms, the two x's in the middle, constant. Your x squared term, 2x's, well, let's double check, 2x times 8 is 16x. That's how you can catch your mistakes. So now combining this trinomial is going to be 2x squared, 16x minus 3x, combining the two middle terms is a positive 13x. Um, and this should be another mistake, negative times positive, that should be a negative 24. 
and then the inside rectangle, bring down the 2x squared, positive 8x minus 7x, 8 minus 7 is 1, or just x, and then minus 28. Now I'm going to substitute those trinomials up here. So the outside rectangle, which is 2x squared plus 13x minus 24, we're going to subtract the area of the inside, which is 2x squared plus x minus 28. So as I distribute, I'm going to stack. So this becomes negative 2x squared, line it up with a z squared minus x, and negative times negative becomes positive. Adding straight down, those are going to cancel out. 13x minus x is 12x, and then negative 24 plus 28 is a positive 4. Okay, so that equals the area. Use the diagram to find the remaining area of the mat. So this is the area in terms of x of the area of our mat. And last one. Taylor places a one inch frame around the picture taken of her competition when the height of the picture with the frame is represented by x plus 4 and the width is represented by x plus 2. Express in terms of x the height and width of the picture without the frame. In inches, label the answer. Okay? Express in terms of x means you're going to get um, an algebraic expression. So let's just focus on the height. Okay? The total height is x plus 4, right? But then, so the picture only goes from here to here, and you have this one inch frame. Okay? So if the whole thing is x plus 4, we need to subtract these two inches and the height that's given that's included in the frame, so minus 2. And then the width, same idea, only goes this far, but has 1 inches on each side for a total of x plus 2. So we take the total width that is included with the frame and subtract that 2 inches for the frame on each side. So for the height, our answer is going to be x plus 4 minus 2, so that would be x plus 2. And then the width, x plus 2 minus 2, would just be x. Express in terms of x, so an algebraic expression again, the area of the picture without the frame. Okay, so for the picture, we have a height of x plus 2 and a width of x. So area is length times width, so x times x plus 2, the area would be x squared plus 2x. Whoops, one thing I'm forgetting, I'm noticing, it says in inches, even though it's an algebraic, algebraic expression, you can add the units after. So perimeters in units and areas in square units, as it says. And then express in terms of x the area of the picture and the frame together. Well, together it told us the length was x plus 4 and width x plus 2. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and multiply x plus 4 times x plus 2. So I'm going to start by distributing the x all the way through. So x times x, x squared, x times 2 is 2x, and distributing the 4 through. And as I do that, I'll stack my like terms. So 4 times x is positive 4x, and 4 times 2 is 8. Combining straight down, we end up with x squared plus 6x plus 8. In square inches, Add your inches squared, area A equals out front.